them or whatever. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kimberly Ann. I'm back with another video. Today, as you can see from the title, it is Festive Christmas Tag. I wanted to start doing some more Christmas themed videos, so this is going to be the first one on the list. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first question is a fictional family you would like to spend Christmas dinner with. Okay, this is what happened. So, I was thinking about it and I was like, wow, I was going through my Rolodex and I was like, wow a lot of the shows that i watch are like really dysfunctional and trash like you don't want to be at christmas dinner with any of these people you don't want to be at thanksgiving dinner with any of these people like i was thinking about it. i was like oh my gosh three percent no people are dying then i was like punisher no people are dying and i was like oh this book like um six of crows no people are dying like and i watch a bit of comedies but then i was like oh still I don't like them that much but I've thought about one okay so basically the whole cluster in sense eight I would die if I was at their Christmas dinner like I love every one of them oh my gosh I would freaking die like the Mexican guy I can't remember his name but him and his boyfriend are like the cutest thing alive <sighs> yes because the thing is, when I started, I kind of looked over these questions. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm racking my brain. But yes, I would love the whole cluster of Sense8. Like, if you guys are having Christmas dinner, and I know you guys are, like, and I hope that y'all are actually in one place because I'm not a cluster, so I can't do all of that. So let's be in one place. Let's meet in one place, and let's do this. Oh, my gosh. I'm thinking about it. That would be the most exciting thing. Yes. <sighs> okay. So the next question is um, a bookish item you would like to receive as a Christmas gift. So I think the bookish item I would love to receive as a Christmas gift would be like those Funko Pops things, like little like figure, action figure thingies, but not really an action. What are those things called? But you guys know what I mean. I would love to get a couple um, that are like Black Panther inspired. I want to get one of Shuri. Um, I want to get one of T'Challa. Um, yeah, so I want to get a couple. So that would be really cool if I were to get um, that for like a Christmas gift. So yeah. The next one is a fictional character you, you think would make a perfect Christmas elf. So I was thinking about it like which fictional character do I feel like is just really like helpful and um, productive because you know you got to get these gifts out like you know people are waiting for their gifts they can't be waiting they can't be waking up on Christmas morning and like where's the gift? The fictional character that I think would make a perfect elf would be in the book The Host Wanda because like she's very helpful she cares about people she would get that thing done right and intact. So I think Wanda from The Host will be a really good one. The next one is match a book to its perfect Christmas song. So I was thinking, see a lot of these were very like thought provoking. So I was thinking and the book is The Wedding Date. I'm reading this right now for my TBR you guys. So this book would be a great Christmas song with this song by um, Boys to Men and Brian Midnight because it's just so ooh you know like it's a romance it's just beautiful let me play it uh, okay oh so I just made a complete fool of myself but yes this book is giving me that those feels and Boys to Men come on now Brian Midnight come on now so you know that's already going to be a bop, an R&B bop, so yeah. Okay, the next question is a book or fictional character you've been disappointed in and should be put on the naughty list. Y'all already know this one. I've talked about it plenty of times, Anon from Children of Blood and Bones. There's nothing really much to say about that. Boy, you're trash. Boy, you're trash. We gave you so, like, baby, Anon, we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you and you're just trash sweetie so um yeah just sit over there sir no gifts for you okay um the next question is a book or a fictional character you think deserves more love and appreciation 
um, and deserves to be put on the nice list. So I think the character that I would choose for that would be Percy from The Gentleman's Guide to Petticoats and Pir- no. Well, Petticoats and Piracy- no, whoa, I- I mix up both those titles. The Gentleman's Guide to Petticoats- mess. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue and The gen the Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. Percy in both of those because I feel like he needs a book of his own. I don't think there's like a fuzzy thing. Um, I think he deserves a book of his own. I don't think he's going to be getting that which is sad and I'm looking on it because I read for Percy and Percy alone. But the thing is do I want Mackenzie Lee to write a book about Percy by himself and then she totally destroys him so actually I don't know about that but yeah I think he deserves more just a little more shine you know maybe like a little 200 page book you know like a little cute like novelette um so yeah he should be put on the nihilist he should get all the gifts in the world all of them give it to him yes I love Percy um yeah and the seventh question second to last question it is red gold and green a book cover that has a wonderfully Christmassy feel to it I do not have a lot of books as you guys may know um but let me see yeah so literally I'm looking and I don't think I have any book that matches that so I'm just gonna take up a whole bunch of books that maybe match it and we're just gonna go from there so oh my gosh I lied so I was looking and I'm like okay this is not really Christmassy feel but it has red it has a white it does not have gold but it has green and like you know even though these are roses like these look he look like they could be um those those little christmasy um ones those little christmasy trees what are those things called but yeah like this looks a little fiesta or whatever um <laughs> Bretman Rock. <laughs> I think this goes this is the closest that I'm gonna get honestly and the last question to set it off is a book or series you love so much you want everyone to find it under their tree this year so they can read it and love it and obviously y'all already know what that's gonna be because I talk about it all the time and like that's it so let's show it let's see if we can if you guys can figure it out let's do a, a little drum roll that is children of blood and bone by tony Ariyami. i enjoy this book thoroughly um yeah and you know if you guys don't want to read this a book that i also thoroughly love the host by stephanie meyer so if you guys don't want to read this like read this because both of these books are pretty much amazing most of these books are dark like thick with two c's but they're really great books so yeah that is the end of this festive christmas tag this christmas book tag hope that you guys enjoy this get you guys in the festive christmas mood you guys listen to let us know by um boys to men and brian mcknight like it's a beautiful song also another song that's great Ooh, ooh. i think i'm gonna do a video about my christmas playlist so i'm gonna do that and yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and also to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys next time Bye.